Alright, welcome to my Japanese snack review for the May Japan Crate. Um, as with the pilot episode I did a week or two ago, I'm just going to be going through uh, some of the highlights from the box, some of the things I thought were most interesting to look into, and, you know, give them a bit of a taste test, see what they're like, um, and yes, this episode will be the one with the Dragon Ball wafer and the Pokemon egg, which will be later on in the video. Anyway, um, let's just jump into it, really. So in front of us, we are starting with Chocolate Umaibo, which is really curious, because um, Umaibo is usually like a corn stick thing. But this one, I don't know, this one, it seems to be like almost cake bite kind of things. So I'm going to take a look inside and indeed take a bite. Uh, ooh, okay, they're an interesting shape. Ooh, oh, okay, ooh, wow, that's very crumbly, hang on. Hmm, that's interesting, that's a kind of light, fluffy kind of thing. I'm just going to have to demolish this part, can't I? Oh, wow, ooh, this is really coming off, hang on. Alright then, let's see if I can get it with the third, ah, there we are, so, ooh, this is a very, um, there, there we are, it's kind of a, so yeah. It's a round cake bite kind of thing with um, chocolate inside, as you can see there. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm going to take a bite. All right. So um, they're not really big enough you can take like half a bite. Oh, well, you could, I suppose, but there's not much point. Yeah, the pastry is quite interesting. It's a bit like... Fl it's very flaky pastry. It's not, it's not the best, honestly. Like... It feels a bit like cheap pastry, if that makes sense. Chocolate inside, though, I will say, is actually quite nice. It's, um... I'm not sure... I don't think it's dark chocolate, but it's not like a super, super sweet kind of chocolate, either. It's got a bit of a sharpness to it. Yeah, not bad, to be honest. These are nice little cake bites. I'm not sure if I'd buy them myself, if I ever saw them in the shops or something. Like, they're decent, but they're not what I come to a Maibo for. I mean, for what they are, they're, they're fine. They're actually quite nice. I don't know. Just kind of like, nothing to write home about, really. They're just, okay. Anyway, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for the rich flavour scorn. Uh, spicy ramen flavour. Now, unfortunately, this didn't have a very good explanation, because um, this is from March. Uh, market crate and as such because it was themed after games and stuff all they did was like reference god eater which isn't very useful so I want to know what kind of stuff this is yeah this is rich flavor scone Ooh, and indeed these are the knobbly goodness that is much like knickknacks um, or Cheetos I think but yeah man they are looking pretty nice so I'm gonna give one a taste Hmm. All right. Wow. That is. That's pretty. Hang on. I'm gonna have one more. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> the name is actually really appropriate for these. These are indeed rich flavor. Um. Because yeah, there's like a bit of a. So the the things I'm getting from it, there's like an undertow undercurrent of soy. That's very like soy sauce flavor is quite strong. There's a bit of a kick to the spiciness as well. There's also a little bit of the um, oniony thing. There's like a bit of an oniony kick. Yeah, these are really damn nice, actually. They're like crunchy, knobbly kind of corn snack things. And yeah, man, those are really good tasting. I was expecting kind of generic spicy flavour, but no. This genuinely does taste a bit like ramen, really. Wow. Okay, I'm actually really impressed with that. Well, thank God. Thank God there's a massive bag of them. Right, okay, well, on to the next snack. Alright, a little addition here. Um, now, this isn't from the Mei Japan Crit, as you can tell. Um, this is actually from a couple of months ago. Um, it's so long ago, actually. I can't remember which crit we got it. I think it was February. Because, um, obviously, the sort of, you know, chocolate Valentine thing. 
Uh, yeah, so this is now. Unfortunately, I can't quite find the leaflet yet. But when and when and if I do, I will put at the bottom exactly what this is called. But it is the chocolate drink by Poca Sapporo, um, and yeah, chocolate rich apparently. Um, it's a small can, very small actually, as you can see. But I'm going to crack it open and give a bit of a drink now. Fun fact for those watching at home. Um, I'm actually kind of lactose intolerant, so this is probably not going to give me a great stomach, but hey, these are the sacrifices I make for YouTube. Alright, so that's about <clears throat> half the uh, can there now, in this uh, delightful Guinness cup that I have. Uh, yeah, wow, that's actually quite thick chocolate, to be honest, uh, as you can tell. Right, I'm going to go have a sip of it. Mmm, wow, okay, that that is really nice actually. So it's a little bit thinner than you'd think it would be. Uh, I was expecting some really thick kind of hot chocolate kind of stuff, but no, it's actually a bit thinner. It's kind of like, well, chocolate milk, I suppose. Well, no, it's thinner than chocolate milk. It's hard to describe really. But yeah, that's really nice actually. While it says it's rich chocolate, the chocolate isn't overbearing actually. I've had, I've had hot chocolates before, there are more overbearing than this and this reports obviously to be rich that's actually really nice now i've had it chilled uh, it's been in my fridge for about four months or something yeah that that is really damn nice chilled actually um i'm not massive on chocolate drinks admittedly because they always leave me thirsty which is a bit of a paradox but that's that's not half bad if you're a big if you're a big fan of like chocolate drinks or chocolate milk and stuff this this is really good stuff. Uh, right, okay, back to the actual actual May snacks now. All right, it's that time you've all been waiting for. It is time for the Furuta um, Pokemon chocolate egg, and indeed it is a chocolate egg. But inside there is one of nineteen figures. Uh, so there are eighteen there listed, but there is one S. So what is that? I do not know. Obviously, it's special. Um, so there we are. It says Furita there, <coughs> and uh, yeah, this is a choco egg, as it says. Um, yeah, quite generic wrapping actually. So uh, let's move that back. Let's peel this open, and let's see what's inside. Will it be an egg made out of chocolate? I presume it will be, because otherwise they've lied to us. Uh, oh, okay. This isn't coming off quite as easy as I thought, but whatever. Hey, there we go. Ooh, very smooth chocolate egg. Uh, right. I'm going to try and break this. Hey, there we are. I have made a dent. Lovely. And there is the capsule inside. Now, I presume this is a bit like... Ooh, it's very like... Um, Kinder Surprise, which is a UK thing. Um, there is an US version now, which is like Kinder Joy, I believe. Um, not quite the same thing, but yeah. It's um, kind of chocolate on the outside, white chocolate kind of stuff on the inside. Anyway, I had a tiny little nibble, but I'm actually going to break some off and have some. Okay, that's bigger than I intended, but wherever. Let's give this chocolate a try. Hmm. It's quite nice. Um... It's definitely very different to the Kinder uh, chocolate, though. Obviously, because, you know, it's a different company, B it's a different country, even. Um, but, yeah, the chocolate's, like, it's a little bit powdery, isn't the word, but, like, there's a slight powdery texture to it. And it's, um, yeah, the chocolate's not overbearing, much like a lot of Japanese chocolate, to be fair. Um, yeah, it's actually really pleasant. I would definitely eat more of that, um, which I will do, because there's more of it. But yeah, um, you can't really taste the white chocolate or the milk chocolate, to be honest. It got all kind of melds. Like, it tastes a bit white chocolatey and a bit milk chocolatey. Um, yeah, pretty darn nice, to be fair. But, of course, the reason we are here, there's bits of chocolate everywhere. The um, reason we are here is to look in this egg. So, without further ado... Oh, hang on, right... I'm going to look at the leaflet first. Oh god, something's fallen. Uh, okay. Don't know what that is yet. Let's see. So, what can we get? <clears throat> uh, Kamala, 
Pikachu, Beware, Rotom Dex, Charger Bug. Oh, I can't remember, but the three starters are like mid evolutions. Eevee, Jigglypuff, Snorlax, Lycan Rock, Alolan Vulpix, Alolan. Ooh, that'd be cool. Alolan Marowak, actually. Um, Poipol, um, Psyduck, can't remember his name, and Togedemaru. And of course, there's a mystery one. Alright, well. Oh, <laughs> has that given away what we've got? Have we got this one? Uh, I can't remember his name. I think we do, because... Uh, right, okay, yeah. Ah, well, I'm sorry about that, but hey, let's uh, pull him out. Ooh, ooh, yeah, it comes in many parts. Ah, oh, there part of him is. Right, I'm going to try and construct this, so I'll be right back. Alright, I am back, and I have indeed created the Pokemon. Um, yeah, very, very simple to put on, like there's only one way that the top will go on. And just slide this tail in. Um, it's got a lovely little base as well. Now, as I said, I can't remember the name of this Pokemon, but I will put it in the caption down below. Um, it's from Sun and Moon, obviously. Oh, I, I it's, it's like on the tip of my tongue, but I genuinely can't remember. It's a very nice uh, little model, actually, to be fair. And um, I'm just going to double check that I have put it together correctly. So, um, yeah, the name is Namakobu. Um, very clearly different to uh, the English there. But yeah, it's a pretty simple um, thing. Actually, yeah, out of all of them, you know, I think this lends itself to one of the best. Just because it's a really simple Pokemon. And um, the smaller scale you get, obviously, like, and the more detail you need to put in, the less good it looks. No, oh, this is really cute. Oh, well, there we are. See, that wasn't that worth the watch. Unless you really dislike Gen 7, I suppose. In which case, you're probably boiling with anger now. Anyway, to soothe your anger, on to the next snack. Alright, it's time for a DIY kit. And this time we have Okashi na Mizu Ame DIY kit. Now, this is an interesting one actually, because... According to the instructions that uh, Japan Crate give, I think all I really have to do here is put gels in different um, different parts, really. So as you can see here, uh, we have three kinds of gels and um, it's a lovely mixy thingamabob. So yeah, um, I think the, the idea is you put the blue one in, then the yellow one, then the red one, I believe. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go check that quickly. All oh, right, yes, I was correct. So you put this, which is uh, Ramune, uh, and it obviously tastes of Ramune. This tastes of lemon, and apparently when you combine it, it'll taste of something. And this is strawberry, and when you combine all three, it'll taste of grape or something, apparently. Now, the only instruction is you knead it, um, as in you ned it, or however you pronounce it, with your fingers to heat it up. Um, so, well, I, I guess I'll do that for a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I am back. So, it's time to try this, I suppose. Um, yeah, so as you can see, it's just like... It's kind of thick gel-like stuff, if that makes sense. Um... I've had it before, they, they put a lot of this in DIY kits, um, it's alright, it's kind of just sugary gel, basically, <laughs> um, so yeah, by the sounds of it, like, you're meant to kind of try a bit on its own and then add stuff and it'll change flavour, so this is Ramune, as I mentioned, which is, um, kind of like... <sighs> Sort of like lemonade, but it's not really. It's very much his own thing. If you've if you've had Ramune before, you know it's like it's quite a distinct flavour. Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to get from that one. Let's chuck that there, uh, and I guess that is the thing. Right, let's try a little bit of the Ramune thing then. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's all right. It's um. Yeah, the the thickness of the gel's a bit weird. I can still I can never really get used to it. But um 
it's not bad, yeah, it's a very mild Ramune flavour, like, it's, um, you get a little bit of the sweetness, but that's about it, really. So this is the, um, not bitter lemon, maybe bitter lemon, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, I'm trying to, aha, there we are. Uh, so, let's chuck some of this in. I would try some of this on, on its own, but it's too late now, because it's already gone. Um, actually, wait, hang on. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. It's it has a slightly like acidic kick to it. The like I don't know. My tongue. Hang on. Hmm. Yeah, that's really weird. It's got a slightly like lemony kind of acidy thing to it. But um, honestly, it doesn't have a lemon taste. Like it immediately like kicks your tongue and is like, hey, look. Get ready for some bitterness, and then, ah, bitter lemon, that's the one. And, um, then nothing happened, so, I think I've mixed it correctly. Ooh, oh wait, no, I thought, I thought the colour was changing, but that was my finger. Okay, now it's just kind of translucent goo, really. Uh, right, okay, let's try a bit of translucent goo. Um, alright, <laughs> I'll be honest, so, this is meant to taste like something, all I'm getting is the Ramune taste with a bit of lemon to it. It's actually quite pleasant. It's, um, it adds a nice kick to the Ramune because Ramune is very like sweet and stuff. And yeah, the lemon kind of like adds its own thing to it. So, finally, um, because my fingers are now covered in sugary goo, um, it's time for strawberry. So, let's pour this stuff in. Uh, and I shall try some on its own as well. Oh, wow, there's a lot of a lot in here. Although the lemon one was very translucent, so it's hard to actually tell. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, my fingers are covered. Right, okay, let's put that there. Uh, uh, oh my god, it's not even coming off. Ah, Jesus, right, okay, there we are. Right, I'm going to try some of the strawberries on my fingers. Alright, I'm back, so time to... Stir all this up. Now I think it's meant to go a bit purple. Or maybe the illustrations meant to show there are tastes of grape. And purple was the best they had. Although we do have blue and red, don't we? So, you know. Um, this is very weird, because like, the container doesn't feel... Well, it feels too big, really. Like, I don't know. Not that... I'm saying they need more of this, because I think this is more than enough to put most people in like a diabetic coma. Probably not going to eat all of this, if I'm honest, because um, I've had gel stuff like this before. It's nice, but no, it just kind of tastes like weird sugar paste, but like there's nothing really going on. Anyway, I think I've mixed that as best I can. I don't think that's very purpley, it's just translucent and a bit orangey. I've done everything it's meant to. I know, like, I guess I could have warmed it a bit more with my hands, but I don't know, it's looking pretty liquidy and stuff. Right, well, let's have a taste. Well, it's basically syrup, so let's have a taste of this grape syrup. All right, that actually works. Um, I wouldn't say it's like... I wouldn't say it's instantly grape flavour, though. It definitely has changed flavour from the Ramune and the lemon to, like... Well, obviously, because you put strawberry in as well. It's definitely changed like a kind of fruity kind of thing, which is awesome. But I don't know if I'd like, if I was blindfolded, I don't think I'd describe that as grape, but I've said that there was like, I don't know, berries or something, maybe? I'm going to try, and I'm going to have another try. Hmm, actually, okay, yeah. After a second try, I would say that is kind of grape flavour. I don't know, it's still a bit weird. And uh, ultimately, you are just eating syrup, basically. Um... In terms of DIY kits, this is <laughs> this is an astonishingly lazy one. I know you have three tubes of syrup mixing together, there we are. I mean, I can understand they're meant to like transform the taste, but you do kind of just end up with this. Um, yeah, well, that wasn't bad, I suppose. Um, not the best, probably one of the worst, but not because of taste. The taste is nice, it's just, I, I don't know, I, I don't know. Right, on to the final product. Let's end on a good one. It is time for the Dragon Ball Super wafer thing. 
uh, the chocolate cream thing that I believe comes with a sticker inside. And obviously the pack is themed after the new Broly movie, which is uh, coming out on Blu-ray next month. Wait, no, this month is May now. Uh, which is a fantastic movie. If you've not seen any, you like Dragon Ball, I highly recommend. Now, the stick is going to be under here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it off off camera, because I can't see either. Hey, yeah, I feel a sticker there. And we'll take a look at the wafer first, and indeed, it actually looks like it does in the packaging, fair play. It's a uh, kind of wafer, some chocolatey stuff inside. Well, let's take a bite. That's pretty okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's not... Didn't blow my mind away. The wafer is quite dry. Um, doesn't really have much flavour to it, obviously, because it's a wafer. Chocolate's alright. It's like the little clumps of chocolate. So it's not like running throughout, if that makes sense. A little like spots, like like uh, chocolate chips. It's not bad. Uh, chocolate's alright. It's not like it's not super tasty, but you know, it, it's it's not bad. I, I'm sure once I get through all of it, it'll be a satisfying wafer taste with chocolate stuff. Anyway, the reason you are watching this, no doubt, is the sticker. It's kind of shiny. What will it be? The sticker is... Ah! Ha, ha, ha. Ah! It's Goku wearing Saiyan armor, which didn't really happen. What does they say? Ah, that says Kakarot and Vegeta. Or Kakaroto and Vegeta. But yeah. <coughs> ah, that's a very cute sticker, actually. Let's see, is this numbered? What one did I get? Uh, no, I don't think it is numbered. Okay, then. Well, hey. You know, that is charming. I don't think it actually stick that on anything. I think I'd just keep that as it is, because that's really cute. Yeah, I, I quite like the chibi style. Obviously, it's similar to the packaging. Oh, well, very nice. And, well, that wraps up my kind of me um, Japan Crate snack review. I say kind of, because I did throw in two things from the March one, but hey. Uh, anyway, if you did enjoy this video, let me know down below. Maybe give it a like, just to give me some feedback. Um, if there's anything you'd like me to do different or whatever, also let me know. I have been thinking maybe I could do some face cam for like when I'm eating stuff. I don't know how people, people feel about that. Personally, I'm not that interested in seeing people eat. But if you guys would prefer that, I'm happy to do it, because it's the same thing for me anyway. And yeah, well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll probably get one of these out in the next, like, two weeks or something, anyway. Uh, I'll probably aim for, like, maybe two a month or something, which ain't bad, I think. You know, they're quick reviews, but they're useful. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.